Zoom and enhance. Zoom and enhance. All right, hello. Quick video today. It's galaxy season, or as I like to call it, crappy allergy season where I can't breathe for the next three weeks. Sorry for the cold. So since I've kind of got my mount sorted out, I've been looking at some of my older pictures and I've always known that I've had bad stars in the corners. I've tried my best. We've done a lot of collimating and making sure that the focuser is aligned with the secondary mirror and the primary mirror and mirror mass, whatever I could do. Still haven't gotten rid of them yet, so I think it's coma. So they say the Schmidt Newtonians with the corrector plate are supposed to take care of that, but as I've read, a lot of the older Meads didn't quite do it the way they were supposed to do. So, knowing me, I went out and bought the cheapest coma corrector I could find. Let's take a look at it and try it out and see if it does any good. Okay, see what we got here. So, as usual, every package I get from China seems to come in this blue plastic packing tape all wrapped around a cardboard box. Almost makes it waterproof it looks like. So you basically have to take your knife and just cut into it. So I've done that already. And here we have the Mayon Coma Corrector. Lovely cloth carrying case. Way too big apparently. We get the knife out again. Okay, here we have it out of the packaging. I put a nice scratch on it with my knife. That's always nice. So, rubber caps on the front and back. People say they think this might be exactly the Sharp Star Coma Corrector. I don't know, I don't have that. Could be just a cheap knockoff or it might be made in the same factory we don't know but 1x coma corrector for f4 and 5 scopes there says it's coated it looks like there may be a grain cast to it doesn't look like there's much coating but maybe feels nice heavy all metal construction, uh, M48 threads on the front, and hopefully we can put filters on this thread on the other side. So, it says it's supposed to have a 55 millimeter back focus. All right, so looking at Canon DSLR, there's the marking for the sensor from there to the front of the plate. 44 millimeters the t-ring I have One millimeters from here to here really close to 11 millimeters That's very close yes so, 11 millimeters and 44 millimeters. That makes 55 millimeters. It's almost like they planned it. So, hopefully, this thread's on here with no cross threading. My 48 M48 threads seem to be right. There we go. to go into the telescope and do some imaging. Okay, let's take a quick look at what we got. It's 
So there is before the comma corrector. You can see this is close up on the edge of just a five minute subframe. You can see I kind of have comedy looking stars. And here is after. You can see I still have the same crappy dead pixel right there, so it's in the same spot. But these stars look less comedy. So, so far so good. I had exactly one clear night last night. It's going to start raining again today, but here is a three hour process of the iris nebula the corners look pretty good this one over here top right still got a few problems going on but all in all another win so I guess coma correctors work on Smith Newtonians just as good as Newtonians if you need them my opinion anyway that's all i've got today quick video like share subscribe talk to you later and clouds suck <laughs>